Howdy partner. So you want to learn how to install some under cabinet lighting? Well, you're in luck. We're going to show you today. Today, we're going to walk you through how to install some of this LED tape lighting underneath this bathroom vanity. Now you can install this under a vanity or under a nice uh, kitchen strip under your cabinets or anywhere else. This is motion activated, so when you walk up or open the door, it's gonna sense it and it's gonna turn on and give a nice ambiance of light under here. It's gonna be super easy to apply with self-stick. Now this particular LED motion sensor light is 38 inches long from EcoSmart. I got this at Home Depot, but I'm gonna link a different one in the description that you can pick up on eBay. It does the same thing. This is battery powered. They also have rechargeable, or you can go at a hard outlet. I don't wanna wire anything here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the battery powered on this LED it should last for a couple of years between batteries. So stay tuned as we start to get this whole thing set up and uh, hopefully it's a great finished product. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we've got this all unwrapped and set up. So this model takes four AAA batteries and since it's only pulling about two watts, very low wattage. Like I said, some of them are uh, rechargeable and I will link those on the description like I just said. I think I may have said eBay, I mean Amazon, so it doesn't matter either way. Also, if you haven't already, please go to buy them right and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate those subscribers that keeps this channel going. So as we go into this, um, there's Velcro on the back, as well as a self-stick tape. I think I'm gonna put that on the side, and then there's also an adhesive all along the back of the LED strip. So we don't want this to be visible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that Velcro on the side, and we're gonna put it back here so that it detects the motion of the door opening. I'm gonna take off that silver strip. It'll be hidden back here. You won't see, I'll recess it, and you'll see the door. Then we're gonna run the strip right underneath this wood here. This wood's about an inch thick. So we'll run it up here underneath here and along the back side, and should be a great product. So we're gonna get started on this, and we'll check it out. Also, this has a timer set to where you can do manual or uh, motion mode. Motion mode goes for 35 seconds. And manual, you can just go ahead and turn it on or off like that. So, pretty cool. Oh, I got on motion, not manual. All right, thanks for watching. So we've repositioned the Velcro, double stick tape. So we're gonna take that off. And then we wanna go ahead and give you some light. We're gonna put it back here to where the motion detector still can sense the door opening, but you won't really see it when you walk into the room. So it's nice and stuck there. Easy to pull off with the Velcro to replace the batteries if that ever needs to be done or to recharge depending on which one you got. Or you can run a plug and try to do it hard wire. We don't wanna do that. Now we're gonna go underneath, pull off the sticky and stick it under here. Stay tuned. Okay, so while you pull this off, you're then gonna go ahead and stick the light under here and make sure it's nice and tight. And if there's a spot where it's not gonna stick up, we can use a nail or a brad or a staple to keep it up there, but it should stick for the most part. Looks like I need to clean underneath the vanity here. So we're almost done, stay tuned. We are all installed now. It's got nice light. What we actually ended up doing was sticking it up underneath the back of this, because that stuck a little better. And instead of any sort of brad nail or staple, we end up using some uh, packing tape. And you could use packing tape or glue, or you could use a nail or staple, whatever works. So you can't see the sensor really. Let's go ahead and check out how that looks with the lights off. Moment of truth. Wow, it works. Got a nice ambiance here, a nice little glow of light. Looks great with or without the lights on. And that was a super simple project. So be sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to these videos. If you have any questions about this project, put it in the comment box. Remember, it's a pretty easy job. It took just about 10 minutes or so. And uh, if I can do this, you can too. So thanks for watching.